Well, you know what? We haven't had a lot to talk about special teams that were special, but one thing we've been trying to do is bring on our sports bar challenge individual. Now, this individual is tied for first at this time, but when they talk to food, he's number one. I'm talking about the young man from Sterling, Cascades, Outbacks, one of the best I've had. Let's welcome Aaron Mines to the show. Aaron, welcome to the show, my man. Hey, thanks, Tony. Now, let's just kick around some football. You know, we're going to talk about your food because we all know that's a winner. Let's talk about the loser in town. And I know I've been in your restaurant and I've seen our show on there. I've seen games. Let's go to the big point. Last week, would you have gone for the two point? Uh, you know, I think it's really easy to to say after the fact whether you would go for two points or not. I think I probably would. OK, now I'm going to put you in that situation. OK. You and two other restaurants are tied for first okay. in the Sports by Challenge. All right. So if we pick a couple of games, and I tell you, you can go for one or two points. You're going to go for the two points, right? I, I'm going to go for the two points. I'm going to try and pick the upset, absolutely. How do the people feel about the team this year? I go to all the games. I've, I've had season tickets for, for a, a number of years, and I never miss a home game. Uh, I love them. It, they're always fun, whether we're winning or losing. Last year, we were winning, and it was, it was, it was amazing. Uh, this year, we're not winning so much. There's, there's still fun. As far as the state of the team, it's disappointing. It's, it's hard to say that we're not disappointed as, as a fan. Uh, I'll, I'll love the Redskins forever, but it's, it's hard to find things to really be excited about this Well, you year. know, I talk about your food, and I know with your food, you have a great staff, and your staff yeah. make you championship. That's the same thing to wash the Redskins, I think, this year. It's something missing within that staff. Now I want to segue into your food. When you're at the restaurant and these guys are losing, does that affect your, your, your <laughs> staff or does that affect your customers? Or do they leave early, stay late, drink more, uh, <laughs> laugh less? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's hard, it's hard for me to, to really say if it's affecting the staff and the customers so much because it affects me. Right. And it's hard for it's hard for me to see past my own right, you, my own emotions to to really perceive what's going on uh, with the other people around me. Uh, I can tell you that after the Redskins lose, if it's an away game and I'm in the restaurant, because if it's a home game, like I said, of course I'm at the stadium. But uh, if it's an away game and I'm at the restaurant and the Redskins lose, uh, I would say that it affects the staff because it affects me. Yeah, well, let's talk about the <laughs> restaurant. You know, I'm in there every week. I feel like your chicken wings are extraordinary. Yeah. Your blooming onions. Yeah. You got, tell me a little bit about what you're doing at the restaurant. You know, the reason that, the, that everything is so, is so great at the restaurant, the, the, we do everything from scratch. Everything is made from scratch there in the restaurant in the morning. I have a prep crew that gets there bright and early as the sun's rising. We don't meet until 4 o'clock Monday through Friday. We don't meet open until 4 o'clock. But the preppers are there bright and early as the sun's rising, prepping everything from scratch. So from our croutons to our ribs. We were talking about earlier, the ribs take seven hours before they're ready. So they gotta get there super early to do it. Seven hours? Yeah, yeah. And you tell you, you got a process with that. And you got this new thing, the double hamburger that I've been Yeah, the double doing. burger. Oh, that double burger is off yeah, the it's chain. Really, it's really good, it's really good. Do you get a lot of people that, that just have certain things, not like the wing, but I haven't found anything in there I do not like. I don't think there's something on the menu that isn't, that isn't amazing. I say it all the time. I go to a lot of restaurants. I eat a lot. I eat out a lot, and and there, but there isn't anything on our menu that isn't really really good. Uh, very rarely have they put something on that isn't really really good, and then they take it off right away because it's not really really good. Now but, we're we're in the holiday season. Are you doing anything? I know that. Oh, there's I, a lot I, of specials. It, it, yeah. Like are you gift certificates? Oh, People, we got they so many specials going on. Get gift certificates. Thank you for reminding me. We I'm, I'm supposed to talk about this. We have uh, a gift card program going on right now through the end of the year, through December 31st. If you buy for every $100 in gift cards that you buy, we're giving away a free $20 bonus card. So oh. for $100, you get $120. That's going through uh, December 31st will be the last day we're doing that. So make sure you come in and get that uh, while we still have them. Uh, those bonus cards can then be used January 1st through February 10th. So you can come in and get $20 off your meal anytime during the holiday season or during the January, February uh, gift card season. As well. Now what's so unique about your restaurant is not just the food, your family restaurant, but you also have a sports atmosphere there. Yep. So you got the best. Oh, we get both busy worlds. during during the during the Redskins game. A lot of Redskins come in there too. Yeah, they do, they do. We, we meet them all the time, and it's it's hard for me to say uh, disappointing things about the team because those gentlemen come in there and they're, and they're super nice. They take care of my staff. 
Uh, they love the food and, and, and they're happy to talk to whoever wants to stop by. It's, it's always a pleasure to have them in there. Mm -hmm. uh, I also wanted, oh, I wanted, I can't, I can't forget to talk about our butcher cut steaks that we have on the menu right now because they're going away uh, in January, but we have three new steaks that we've never had before. We have a 12 ounce pork chop porterhouse, Ooh. Which, is, which, which is extremely good. We have a, uh, a big 16 ounce bone in New York strip steak. And then we have my favorite, and you said you had one before and you enjoy it too. Uh, we have the 16 ounce bone in ribeye steak. Ugh, we, do, we do them all on the wood fire grill. So they all get that outdoors char seasoning flavor. Uh, in fact, the ribeye is so good. I'm actually wondering how much is left in the interview. So well, I'll tell you what, when you, when you come in next time, you promise me you'll bring those and, and we oh, can I'll, I'll bring them. Oh, we'll eat them. And I can, eat, I can eat the ribeye after you're gone, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. You can eat the well, Aaron, I want to thank you for coming. Now, we want you to come back in January, but now remember, you're in the Sports by Challenge. This young man is tied for first. He said he's going for two. I'm when he comes back, we'll see if he was right or wrong. <laughs> you come back in a moment. <laughs>